Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my library. My name is Chinsir Dubois, and behind me, you can see a selection of over 2,000 books which dwell within my home. Being a quite sporadic reader, delving through these pages, as well as thousands of online articles for research, both for my YouTube channel and for my PhD, can be overwhelming to say the least, but also quite disorientating. But in today's video, which is sponsored by Notion itself, which is incredibly excited, I'm going to share with you all the ways in which I manage and organise the knowledge base stored within my dark academic library, using a little bit of enchantment. Well, AI, but it's closest to enchantment that I can possibly get. But trust me, it's just as fascinating and as useful as any magical familiar would be. Though not as cute and fluffy, we have to deduct points there. Now before we get into it, I know there's a lot of controversy around AI, particularly how it is misused to say the least, which means all AI, in general, gets painted with an incredibly nasty brush. But like any kind of magic, we have black, we have white magic, and it all depends on how you use it. Using AI as a tool can aid your life incredibly as a researcher, but obviously I'm not here to promote things like lazy ways of skirting through thorough work or eradicating individual creativity. We're not here for that. And we have things like a lot of unethical data farming going on in the AI world, but the AI I'm talking about in today's video, which is part of Notion, only surfaces the information from places you have access to. And it never shares your data for AI training purposes. So your Notion page is kept private even with the use of this AI. I think that's incredibly important, so I wanted to put that way at the front. So thus, this video shall demonstrate how AI can actually be incredibly useful for people such as myself who are chaotic, sporadic, very neurodivergent, book readers and researchers. AI helps me organise and go through all of my knowledge and find resources quickly and efficiently. It helps me summarise my own research like a magical spell that it was and help me analyse imagery from ancient manuscripts and even organise my coven meetings. Are you intrigued? Well, this is how an old academic crow organises her dark library of knowledge using AI. So first, welcome to the front page of my Notion page. At the moment, I've kept it quite blank for the purposes of this video. And we're going to start with the Enchanted Library. So I can actually use AI to generate a magical catalogue system for my 2000 plus books by sorting them into arcane categories such as forbidden knowledge or celestial mysteries. And I don't have to do any of the work for it because AI figures it out all on its own. So the first thing I did was actually go into the AI assistant. So in Notion is either in the bottom corner here. So if I click this little off here, you have a little tiny dash here, or you can go to the AI page itself. Now, for this purposes, I wanted it to generate a load of tags for me based on the idea of dark mythology and folklore and mythical things. So I just asked AI if it could please come up with a library catalog system under the themes of dark academia and arcane knowledge. And it's done that. It has popped up all these beautiful different kind of arcane categories from forbidden knowledge. We have liminal spaces, which is literature exploring the states between transitions and boundaries, haunted narratives, and then voices of the marginalized, queer arcania, non-binary narratives, decolonial grimoires, and multicultural mysticism. Fantastic. We love all of these, but you can pick and choose what you wanted. I didn't have to like rack my brain. This is purely for my own content. So then I get to go to my actual library. So I've already imported my own book collection onto here. Now, I just imported all my books and attached to the category. As you can see, I've started doing some of them at the beginning, but I don't want to go through all individual by myself. So Notion already has the knowledge on its system what these arcane categories actually mean. They have already given the definitions for it, so I don't need to remind the system of the definitions for each of these things. And now, say I have a random book, let's go down this thing, let's do a meal in winter, which is fiction, and I click it to give me and generate the arcane category, I just click this little update symbol and it 
registered it and goes for shadowed histories. It is chosen to put it into that based on the knowledge it has. Similarly, I can go all the way through. So A Natural History of Dragons, I know is a fantasy book, which is a very good series if you're interested, but they've gone into mythic resonances and so far and so forth. So I don't have to then decide for me, AI can decide what category it goes in based on the information it has of the book. This is not the only thing it can do with my library. Because I have imported all of my books onto this, I can ask AI to evaluate what books will be useful for me to look into when researching. I say, I'm going to ask for it to give me book recommendations for my library. So explore my library and identify which books will be useful for research on the Black Plague. So it's giving me the list of the great mortality and intimate history of the Black Death. And it's giving me here, as you can see on the screen, a little two note. That takes me directly to the page where this is, which again is an incredibly useful linking system we will come to in a little bit later. Now, interestingly, it's suggested The Plague by Albert Camus, but it has actually given me some kind of justification for it. It says, while primarily a work of fiction, Camus' The Plague is a philosophical novel that uses plague outbreak as an allegory. It could provide valuable insights into societal and psychological impacts of the pandemic, which might be useful for understanding historical accounts of the Black Death. Interesting. I may not entirely agree with it, but I like how it's actually circled that. Similarly, it's given me The Black Plague of London in 1665, by Walter George Bell. And it said again, although this book focuses on later plague outbreak, it could offer valuable comparative information. It includes 40 illustrations comprising contemporary prints, plans and drawings, which could provide visual context for understanding historical plague outbreaks. Now, I should actually clarify here that my library catalogue on Notion has no information in it. It is purely a list of the books that I own and the authors who wrote them. I haven't fed this information to AI. It has garnered that information elsewhere to have collected my knowledge base to then give me the information that I need to evaluate what it has done. It's collected through my library, search through it. Now let's go back to this little point that we mentioned earlier about it takes me directly to the page. Now this is incredibly important, particularly if you're working on big research projects. So I'm gonna show you an insight into how my PhD research is laid out. I think this is useful to show you the scale of it. If I go to my literature database, I have all my different sections of this. Now, but as you know from any kind of research, you'll be researching into one category and you will find references in that category that belongs in another category. So I could talk about, say, women speaking, but then that may also obviously very much overlap with écriture féminine. But then I can search Notion AI and it will pull together all my different ideas from different folders and tell me all about it. I'm going to ask AI to pull up all my references to Helene Zuzu, who wrote the famous essay, The Laugh of Medusa. Now, as you saw from my first page that I showed you, I have a chapter on Medusa, which is not connected to my chapter, which discusses lecture feminine and also women speaking. So this will give me all the research that I have done or written about or even reference. So say even the title of a paper that I need to read that I've listed in my to read page, that's going to now pull up by Notion AI and it'll pull up my reading list based on all the times I've ever referenced L'Ecriture Feminine across my Notion page. And boom, after doing a wee bit of a search, based on the search results, here are the main references to Helene Zuzu in your notes. So this is a prime example of what I mean about it pulling from all the different areas of your Notion. So points one here, and points three, you can see it says it's from reading L'Ecriture Feminine. So we know what folder in my Notion page it actually is. However, Point two takes us to a whole different area. It's women speaking, as I predicted. Similarly, point six takes me to a media discussion where I was talking about my PhD with introduction to women's daughters, a complete different area from all the others that I even predicted it wouldn't be mentioned in. But Notion AI has managed to summarize everything together, which I absolutely love, which is vital with big research projects, particularly if you've got multiple folders, multiple areas. It's a godsend because it's more effective than tagging because the AI is going beyond just a simple basic tag of what you're looking for specifically. It's giving you a nuanced take on where you may have referenced something in an elusive way or directly, such as we looked at in the plague section. Additionally, AI can be used to summarize your own notes, which is again, incredibly useful when you're working on a big research project or you are left something for a long time. So let's go back to my literature database. I haven't touched my research on Medusa in over a year. So this is an area where I'm a little bit rough to say the least. Now, what's interesting here is you can see an extract of my own writing of a Google document. 
because Notion AI allows you to connect your Google Drive and then also to Slack if you use Slack. But I primarily only use Google Drive because it's just me. So I connect all my main folders to all of my different chapters and all my different documents for my PhD within Notion. So I don't have to then go through my Google Drive, which saves you a godsend when you're looking through tabs and going through Google Drive and trying to organize it. Trust me. But I haven't looked at this in over a year. So I'm going to open, say, let's do, oh, <laughs> well, here we go. I know this is a big one. So I've got notes on the dangerous beauty. These are all my own notes. So I've, you know, added everything here accordingly. And this is all my own research. But say, I haven't looked at this in over a while. So I'm going to go to the top of this document and ask AI to summarize my notes for me, highlighting keywords repeated throughout my research. This is a big document and it gives me a wee summary right here. So summary of my notes on the dangers of Beauty Medusa and I can either accept this while I'm reading through it or discard it. I've chosen to accept it. It has given me this nice little summary. So when I come back to this research next year, now accordingly, because I'm working on a complete different chapter for my research, I can look at a summary of what these notes are about and go, ah, this is where I think that that note is. And obviously these summary notes are not going to be used in my research. But it's fantastic for me to be able to look at something from an overview before I then go skimming through my notes and trying to read everything to see if it has got that point in it or it does cover what I think it covers or vaguely remembered it covered. But now let's talk about my coven, which is you. You are technically my coven. Um, and when I'm working alone, I'm doing a lot of projects all by myself. It can be incredibly overwhelming. It is overwhelming to say the least. And I've been working on some big projects in the background that taking a lot more time. So my coven meetings, is working out when I can talk to you. So AI helps me organize my website, organize my newsletter, organize also my podcasts, and organize my Patreon content, which is taking a long time because it's a bigger project than I imagined. I'm working on so many different things and Notion helps me do that. So I can ask Notion to help me with all the launch schedules. So let's say, for example, my Patreon. At the moment for my Patreon, I am working on a series of just going through Homer's Odyssey. So I'm recording the audiobook chapters for the Odyssey in the different books. And then I'm making an accompanying video explanation of the Odyssey where I do a talk through each of the books I covered in the audio extract. Obviously, that's a huge project. It's taking me ages. But what about the launch system? So I can ask AI, what's the most effective way to do that? So I've just asked Notion AI, I'm going to work on a podcast series for Patreon where I read through the Odyssey. I want to break down the Odyssey into its different books and create accompanying videos for explaining the book that I read on the audio file. What's the best way to break this down? How should I break down the Odyssey into decent portions? And what should the release dates be for each of these? And it's given me a suggested episode structure. And then for the release dates, you can aim for the 1st and the 15th of each month. This will give you a consistent schedule that allows your Patreon subscribers to anticipate new content. It also says, remember to consider the varying lengths of different books when planning for your episodes. Some books may require more explanation and context than others. So be flexible with your format if needed. Similarly, I can ask it for helping me with scheduling or coming up with ideas for my newsletter or for my blogs because I'm redesigning my whole website. There's going to be loads of new blog posts on there with dark history essays, like mini essays, only 500 words. Um, I've been working on all, all this in the background, but I want it to all launch in one go. So I'm actually creating everything first before I'm actually releasing it. Similarly, I've just asked AI to give me ideas on my newsletter. I'm doing all of this alone. I have no editors. I have no one to help organize my stuff. It is just me constantly working. So having this kind of second brain to evaluate the research that I have already done and the information that I've already written on my Notion page is just, I can't express how useful this is. <laughs> I genuinely love that I can use this resource not only to garner the information from my books and also reference it, but then also when I start importing the notes that I've written for my books into my Notion page, I create a bigger knowledge base that I can lean on in the future, which I'm going to because I'm just actually only just imported my library into Notion. Another thing you can use AI for is to neaten up your notes when you're taking, particularly in meetings. So for myself, supervision, I'm on Zoom with my supervisor. I'm writing like a mad woman. And then my notes are basically almost incomprehensible when I look back on it. However, I can ask AI to help me neaten up my notes. I can say, can you summarize my own notes back to me? Can you neaten up these notes for me? And AI will reconfigure my own meeting notes. So I asked for it to do a little summary of my notes that I took. These are all just random bullet points up here. But lo and behold, it's only taken me 
and nice them all up for me to have at the bottom here, which is way more organized than what I was doing as a mad person during supervision. And also I connected an audio file to it. So I have the audio file to back things up and I look over it and I can tweak things based on if I disagree or what I don't agree. But actually it has done it all. It's broken up wonderfully for me. Things like that just elevate. You don't have to worry about redoing your notes again. It can be done for you based on the information that you have given it. I cannot express how much I benefit from using AI in Notion as someone who is a very scattered brain, very disorganized, because I'm a very ADHD student who is running her own business on here and doing all this stuff by herself. She has notes scattered everywhere, but then digitizing it all onto Notion and then having that assistant help me locate things in one little bubble. So if I know I've scattered all these like Odyssey notes everywhere or Medusa notes everywhere, I can find them. And I cannot express how much that takes a weight off my shoulders as someone who is neurodivergent and doing this alone. It may sound crazy, but I feel less alone with Notion AI and AI like this in general, this kind of organization stuff. I generally feel like I have a little familiar who works with me to help my notes be more legible, me more constructed and just help me out where I need help kind of thing. I genuinely love it. So if you want to try out Notion AI yourself, you can go and actually try it out for free before you purchase that extension to it. So if you want to try out Notion AI for yourself and see if it benefits you, you can have a go for total free. There's a limit to how much you can use the free trial of it before you have to pay for it, but at least you can test it to see if it actually works for your Notion. And if you find it as beneficial as I do, because I bloody love it, um, then you can buy it. You can check out all the links in my description box down below for trying Notion AI out yourself. And thank you so much for Notion for sponsoring today's video. I I've been using Notion for over four years now. I use it for my business, I use it for my PhD, I use it for literally everything. My whole life is planned out on Notion. I love it. So having just that extra help with the AI tool has just taken it to a whole new level. I cannot praise it enough. So this was an absolute dream to talk about this because I love using it myself. So to be able to talk about it officially with Notion, thank you so much. I'm, oh, I love it so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found today's video helpful. If you did, consider liking and subscribing and I'll see you soon for another video. And remember, books save lives. So keep reading.